I greet everyone in this community. It's a privilege talking to you because you are such a great person. I salute you, sir. Actually, it is interesting to elaborate certain principles in TBC. And uh, as a TBC pastor, I always want to update my people over issues around happening. Uh, today, I come to you with a word of advice and encouragement. We are privileged to have an admin that have not promised us fish, but he has promised us the tools, he has given us the tools to fish. TBC is not just currency, but TBC is tools to enable you have enough currency. You know, the concept of TBC go far beyond the other public concept of come to me, buy tokens, buy uh, coins, or security tokens or whatever, and in two days time, use them to shop and do stuff. The whole concept of TBC is about we being empowered to create wealth for ourselves. TBC presents us with the tools to create wealth. So if you are in TBC, what you need to ask yourself is, how can I use the available, the mass tools that have been prevent, presented to us as humanity? A lot of people are using the Bitcoin bounty tools to make ends meet for themselves. Others are using the weekly contest tools to make ends meet or to provide a living for themselves. Some are using the, 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 the TBC broadcast to get more cookies, more rewards, more coins, more kringles. You know, you have to ask yourself, what can I do in this community? How am I using the tools of TBC? You see, I always say, at the moment, it's like we are all hungry for food. And someone has come home with a basket full of apples. And you are invited to pick as much as you can. At that instant, when the thousands and millions of people surround one basket to pick apples, and you have the chance to pick one, ten, hundred, thousands, a million apples for yourself. I would like to ask one simple question. How many apples will you pick? And remember, the quantity of apples you pick will save yourself, save your children, and the generation to come. Will you pick just one? Will you pick two? Will you pick ten? Will you pick hundred or thousand? Perhaps you will aspire to pick a thousand apples. All right, now the next question is, I don't understand when everyone is graciously, rapidly picking the apples, will you join the masses to pick more for yourself until the basket is emptied? Or you will pick two and stand a little question and ask, them, how do I use, how do I use the apple? How do I chew the apple? How do I eat it up? I don't even know where to wash it. Where will I go clean it up? Will you be questioning whilst others are picking seriously? How you will use the apple? How you will chew the apple? How are you going to consume the apples? I think no. But the best thing you will rather do will be pick as many as you can. Hide them. Come pick more. Hide them. Until the basket is empty, then you now begin to question, how do I use my apples? Today, whilst others are working hard to gain more TBC coins, paying the admin fee every first of the month, attending weekly meetings, trying to do more broadcasts, others are also there complaining. Come on down. You don't need to do that. You need to join the, the table of men. You need to register your spot in the mass adoption team. You need to make sure every first day of the month, your 30 coins is secure. Before you now begin to question, until the admin wallet is empty, there is no need to complain. Because I can assure you, once the admin wallet is emptied, no one will even push. TBC will be liquid automatically. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. Anytime something is scarce, automatic, you know, it creates market for itself. It advertises itself. When there is scarcity on something, the later that are there, advertises themselves. You don't even need to talk for people to know that you have the coins. People will rush in at your end to get enough, you know. So, at this moment in TBC, the wise in TBC, 
are focused in getting more coins in their wallet. But the ignorant are focused, grumbling, talking, asking a lot of questions. I want you to join the table of men, the wise men, who are in rush for more coins, working hard to get enough resources, to get enough power, to get enough recognition, than those that are complaining hitter scatter. Don't do that. Don't make mistakes. God bless you. Don't forget to pray that God should give you more insight into this community. We have a very wonderful treasure. And if we use it well, we will save ourselves and the entire generation. Let's utilize TBC tools very well. It is a one-time opportunity, and we don't need to mishandle it. God bless you all. Thank you.